Okay, let's talk about how to make an ojos de dios, otherwise known as a god's eye. I love having the kids work on this when they are my early finishers as weavers because it's an easy project for them to get. They get it right away. They're still working with all the supplies that you've gotten out for weaving and they really enjoy doing it. So to start, you can adhere two straight things together, meaning you could use two popsicle sticks, which I think actually work great with the younger kids. You could um, adhere or glue together two drinking straws, which is what I did with just a touch of hot glue, or even two sticks from outside. Like I said, I usually do this for the kids. It takes me just a few seconds to do, and it saves them a lot of difficulty. If those aren't adhered, then they're constantly sliding or scooting around. You'll also notice that I use a Sharpie to number them. So I've got them numbered one through four, and I made sure to rotate my stick as I number them so that they're easy to see as the kids are weaving along. I have the kids do the numbering themselves. I think they can handle that. So once they've got their stick, it's numbered, and a strand of yarn will usually meet on the floor, and on the document cam, I'll show them what to do. If you don't have a document cam, then consider using two really big sticks, as I feel like having something really large, it's much easier for them to see than for them trying to squint and see you doing something on a small scale. So I'm gonna zoom in. And notice that I'm holding it so that I'm looking at the number one. So my number one, if you want to bring geography into it, is in the east. Looks like number four is in the north, two's in the south, and guess what's in the west. So I'm starting with one in the east. My dom non-dominant hand is my left hand. So I'm going to start by holding my yarn, the end of my yarn, just my little tail, underneath my thumb like this. And the process of this is just like weaving because the process is under over. So my string is now falling down below my sticks. My thumb is on top with my little tail. Surface is a little slippery, there we go. And my fingers are on the back side. So my fingers are kind of sandwiching between, or sandwiching the string and the straws. Now with my dominant hand, I'm going to do, let the camera focus, under, over. So I'm going under number one, over number one. Now I need to turn to number two. There's number two. Under number two, notice how my fingers are helping me a little bit by scooting it closer to the center of the straw, over number two. Sometimes you have to use two hands to turn. That little tail likes to run away, just hold it back down again. It's not a problem, I do not tie it on. Under number three, over number three. And that's the pattern. Here's what you can do with that little tail. Push it down, go under number four, over, and tuck it underneath. And that'll pretty much hold it in place. You really don't have to worry about that tail. And now I'm just going to continue that process. That's it. That's all there is to weaving an ojo stadios. Under, over, rotate, under, over. Now some kids as they go along, they'll want to do this. They'll want to go over, under. Do you see how that's different? You need to stress to them that that's not correct, that they always want to continue that pattern of under, over. Once they become more advanced, or maybe they've completed their first Ojo de Dios, then they can experiment with doing some over, under, or switching back and forth because it actually creates really cool design elements in the weaving if you know what you're doing and if you have a plan for it. If you're just randomly going over and under and then switching it, then it just ends up looking like you don't know what you're doing. So to start with this weaving, I always tell them our process is under over. Here's how they'll know if they're doing it correctly. They should always be weaving on the side with their number, never the opposite side. So if they don't see their numbers anymore, they're on the wrong side. Also, the back of their weaving, which is the side they should be looking at the whole time, will look like this their yarn will be wrapped around each straw so that each straw is really prominent in their weaving. On the opposite side, however, which will ultimately be the front, there should be a diamond and the diamond will continue to grow. So when they hang it, they'll actually be looking at what we've been calling the back, the side without the numbers. But as they're working, they should be looking at the side with the numbers. 
I'm going to pause for a moment and continue weaving and I'll get right back at you to show you a little bit more of my progress.